How to get better at hidden mod in OC game. First, we gotta explain what hidden mod is. So it essentially strips approach circles from the circles in Osu game, which can make the reading of the circles a lot more different. I don't want to say more difficult, but different. So hidden mod gives you a 6% more score multiplier. That could be helpful if you want to do leaderboards. And it gives you 10% more total PP to your play. So if you got 300 PP on no mod, you put on hidden and you got the same score. That's plus 30 PP because that's 10% of 300, 330 PP. So it can be helpful if you want to get more PP, you put on hidden. So how can we get better at hidden mod? So first we got to understand something called object permanence i got this idea from Bruh. early but it's a concept from psychology that describes that we know that objects or people exist even though we cannot see them so in osu we're basically applying object permanence to play hidden so most of you guys probably don't have an issue of object permanence because it's only an issue for people that are below eight months old in particular because their brains just haven't developed in that way yet but we would have improved it with our parents through playing peekaboo and hide and seek and all that and that would have improved our ability to have object permanence there might also be some type of issue with those of ADHD with object permanence. So some sources say that, that some people will suffer with object permanence. Some sources say that you won't. If you have ADHD, I just want to appoint you to that. And if you want to play hidden, you might have some issues with it. You might want to look into your own condition and see if that's an issue with it. And you could probably do some more research on it. But that's just something that I want to tell to those of ADHD because about 10 to 12 percent of people have ADHD in our day and age, which is only going to get more and more as cell phone use fucks up our brain essentially. But that's just something I want to alert you guys to. But basically, we want to apply the concept of play more, but be conscious of object permanence in the context of OSU. And before I go down with the rest of the video, I just want to shout out my Discord server. It's a growing community every day with weekly multis and in house tournaments. And if you're interested in all that, you can join it through this link right here or in the link below. So, advantages and disadvantages of hidden mod as we described previously hidden mod gives you more score and more pp six percent more score ten percent more pp however there's a pretty kind of a disadvantage to it where if you mess up a pattern you can die pretty easily from what i've seen and we're gonna get into that some more later on so what is hidden mods best use scenario so hidden mod is best used in high ardt from what i've seen because it reduces the amount of approach circles on the screen at once because the approach circles they are going to strain your eyes because there's a lot of them at once on ar high ar so that's that could really help with reading the high AR and make the notes look like they come slower, which could help for a lot of people, which is why you see like a lot of people with hidden on the high RDT, or they could just be doing it for their PP. There's a lot of benefits to playing hidden on high RDT, which as we said is lower reading strain and more PP overall. So where is hidden on the most difficult then i just want to alert you guys to memorization so let's say we're given a string of numbers six three five two eight one so if we recite that in our head for a little bit we'd be like oh six three five two eight one six three five two eight one we're gonna memorize it right and then after like a minute later after we haven't even thought of it we can like recite it easily right six three five two eight one now what if we add another number to it six three five two eight one two six three five two eight one two it's gonna be a lot more difficult to memorize that right and it'll probably take some more recitations if we want to memorize it if we want to remember it a minute later and this is kind of this What's happening in osu with hidden mod 65281 could be like the normal ar with hidden because you got to memorize that string of notes right the string of patterns but in lower ar the note density goes up so we're gonna have to memorize more notes at once more numbers at once 6352812 6528124 we're gonna have to memorize all of that in lower ar which could increase the reading strain for us which is why it's a lot harder to read low ar and hidden and on easy because we have to memorize all these notes at once which would make things a lot harder for us to play in and we have to apply our object permanence to it that's like the most difficult part about playing hidden in my opinion low ar to get better at it we just have to get better at memorizing but just playing it more that's kind of just how we have to get better at it where it's also difficult is flowing especially in streams the reason why is because you have to memorize the pattern of the shape and with streams we have to recognize that there's also a higher note density as we said with low ar and easy mod on hidden so we have to memorize more notes at a time with streams even though the approach rate is going to be probably higher compared to the low ar that means there is going to be two points here's a reference point where it's going to be the pattern that we memorize in our head right and this is the actual pattern so there's probably always going to be a bit of a margin of error to it and the higher the margin of error is the more likely you're going to mess up the stream and die probably because on hidden mod if you mess up a stream it's pretty hard to get back into it and you're probably going to die easily this is especially true in like space streams and from what i've seen from my experience it could be a, from note density streams are just really hard to play on hidden from what i've seen and we just get better by playing them more so is hidden mod actually more difficult than no mod? Some hidden mains believe that hidden is a reading preference mod and that it doesn't really matter whether you play hidden or no mod and that everything difficulty wise is the same. However, as we mentioned before 
about the things with higher RDT, low AR, and flowing. That's not necessarily the case. There's a bit of a give and take about hidden. I have to agree and disagree with the statement. The part where I agree with is that hidden mod can be a reading preference mod. If you play hidden long enough, that your ability to play the notes on hidden is better than your ability to play on no mod. However, as we discussed previously, there are some patterns that are more objectively difficult to play just due to the sheer amount of memorization we have to do, such as low AR and flow aim. However, hidden also makes the game easier by reducing your strain on your eye strain by playing high ARDT, making the notes come a little slower, it seems like. Additionally, hidden may also help with hard rock for that same reasoning, and we're going to discuss hard rock more in another video. Hidden is especially pretty good for hard rock because it's such a high AR as well. But taking all these things and considering, it's still up to debate on whether hidden is a preference mod or not, but I would have to agree and disagree here as for the reasons I've said before. For. I just want to point you guys to some dangers of playing hidden. So there's an issue with hidden players where they become dependent on hidden mod and they get dependent on reading no approach circles. And if you put them on approach circles, they're going to do really bad. So it's kind of similar to taking off your glasses right here. And if you take off your glasses, right, like you take off hidden, hidden means taking off hidden, like taking off their glasses. It's a lot harder to see things. It's a lot more blurry. That's kind of what, I, what I've experienced because I play both hidden and no mod. And if I've had a hidden session and then I take off hidden, it's going to be like really weird. Like, whoa, that's a lot of clutter. The counteract this phenomenon we want to we can still play hidden but every six or five maps or so we want to take off hidden play at no mod play with the pro circles this could help us to maintain our no mod reading skills and the only case that i think that this would be good for is if you want to play in tournaments because in tournaments you have to play both hidden and no mod knowing both of those skills can be helpful if you're not going to play in tournaments then you can just do whatever you want it's a single player game after all doing this if you want to play tournaments is especially helpful that you know how to play both no mod and hidden but you can just do whatever you want at the end of the day final remarks so overall hidden Hidden mod is a powerful tool to give you more score and PP. However, it is a bit more difficult to read on the side of memorization. And it is especially difficult on low AR and flow aim and streams and easy, but actually helps you if you play on high AR DT due to the less reading strain. And I just want to shout out my Discord server one more time. If you want to join it, join community, weekly multis, and house tournaments, we might make a friend there right here or in the link below. And as you guys can see, I am in a different environment. I finally moved back home. My college semester is over. That was probably one of the hardest semesters I've ever done i'm doing engineering it's a pain in the ass guys but yeah it's gonna be like this for the three months or so we're gonna be pumping out a shit ton of content so if you're interested in that then subscribe for more guys like this i'm gonna make a guide for like every mod yeah that's kind of all i have to say subscribe for more videos and uh see you guys in the next one